Hi everyone, it's George here from Minaltech, and in this video I'm going to be looking at a 3D object tracking demo that I've been kindly loaned by the guys at Primo Germany. Primo is Inaltech's technology partner for electromagnetic components and is the world leader in developing and manufacturing small 3D antenna coils, which for years have been traditionally found in car key fobs. This kind of technology allows the car to see where the key is in 3D space, whether it's inside or outside, or if it's in the front or back of the car. They also offer a variety of other magnetics, including power transformers, inductors, chokes, current sensors, and more. With five design centers worldwide, Primo offers not only off-the-shelf components, but also custom solutions to fit any requirements, allowing for maximum efficiency systems. An emerging technology for Primo's antennas is a 3D EMF tracking system for augmented and virtual reality applications. And the demo kit I've got is from Primo's strategic partner in this market, this is the Amphitrack development kit. Amphitrack is an affordable six degrees of freedom 3D tracking system from the Danish company Amphitech, who specialize in electromagnetic tracking systems. The system uses state-of-the-art algorithms and Primo's high-performance 3D coils for object position sensing in a 3D space. The system outputs the absolute X, Y, and Z positions and pitch, roll, and yaw rotations of the system components relative to each other making it a so-called true six degrees of freedom electromagnetic tracking system. The system is based on electromagnetic field tracking or EMF tracking using a transmitter and one or more receivers. The receivers pick up the EMF levels sent out by the transmitter, which is then processed by the Amphitrack hardware and software. The position can be measured down to less than a millimeter and the rotation can be measured down to less than 0.5 of a degree. And it does all of this at very low cost and without relying on line of sight communication. So if we look at the demo kit, we have an EMF source which emits the EMF field using one of Primo's 3D coils. This is then connected to the EMF source driver which communicates with the sensors and USB RF hub using a 2.4 GHz proprietary RF link. We then have three wireless EMF sensors which again contain Primo antennas and these pick up the electromagnetic field and calculate the position and orientation from the EMF source and then communicate this back to the source driver and RF hub using that 2.4 gigahertz link. The sensor size is actually quite small for what it does, and you can see inside how small Primo's 3D coil is. Finally, we have the USB RF hub, which outputs all the data to a PC where we can read it back and we can visualize it. The USB hub isn't actually required in this system as calculations are done by the microcontroller on the sensors, but we'll obviously be using it today to show the outputted data. So the Amphitrack demo software that's running on here is what Amphitrack have produced, but it just shows, it just shows a visualization of the 3D output and it's gonna pull all that in using the wireless hub. So let's leave that there. And then we just need to set up each of these sensors one by one. We have to place it on the X axis until it stays a solid yellow. Is that it? No. Okay, I think we did it. I think, I could be wrong. So what we were waiting to do was the, the orange light flash to say it needs calibrating or something. And you need to put it in a certain position for it to say this is home or that's kind of how calibration works. And when it does that, those yellow lights will go to a solid, um, just a solid yellow light. And it works there, if you can see that. If I put it on the, on the chair, it stops working. So I think the theory is the metal around the chair is interfering with it in some way or another. So if I put it, if I pop it there on the chair, one of them works. No, it just doesn't like that. Oh, there you go, it likes that. So if I calibrate that one there and that one, if I, if I do the calibration on a flat surface, the readings come out a lot better, especially if they're all in the same place. If I calibrate them in different points, they don't always, it doesn't always work as well. 
Um, and then let's try and calibrate this one as well. There we go. So those three are now calibrated. Let's get the hub device plugged in. Just pop that down there. And then we can now see this on the computer. So I'm gonna leave that on there. It's actually quite far away. What can I see? So if I've got, I don't know, let's say if I put those three in the same position, and then if I do 176, 177, 178, all of different degrees of rotation, you can see the rotation field on here. Which one of those is rotation? Oh yeah, you can see it. One's, one's on minus 16, one's on minus 100, and one's on 178, which is vaguely 0, 90, and 180. I guess if, I guess if I'd calibrated it better, or it'll be something along those lines, something to do with the calibration, I guess, will, will mean that it doesn't quite work. But it's a cool system. Well, if I just leave that there, on there for a sec and then pull this one over and then pop it on the other side of my laptop, which has obviously got a lot of metal on it. It goes a little bit shaky. If I get close to my, if I get close to a source of metal, that goes a little bit shaky. But that, I guess that's sort of what is to be expected. They said that that when it comes to metal objects, it doesn't do massively well because the EM field gets affected by metal objects. But otherwise, that's awesome. And then you can go below as well. But if you imagine if I've got, I don't know, let's say I've got that in my hood. Um, pop that in my hood. And then if I've got, let's say, those two could be like virtual reality nunchucks or something along those lines when it comes to gaming. And then it's got a position of both where my body is on like a backpack or something along those lines. And then it's got the position of both my hands. Yeah, so if you imagine that, like I say, with like a gaming application or something, using that one in each hand. Or I said on, I said on the Instagram story I put up, on the reel that I put up, that you could use it in like medical applications. So a doctor could have that as two instruments or something along those lines controlling a very precise robot so that they could be like in, in a completely another room to a robot that would then be operating on a patient or that kind of thing um, i've seen these like applications for augmented reality where you'll wear a something over your face that will say that's what you need to do or this is the thing that you need to change that kind of thing so again if that could track where you're looking in 3d space then it would know I want to say a big thank you to the guys at Primo Germany for lending us this kit and all the support they've given to allow us to make this video. The Primo Germany office was set up just over a year ago now, and they've played a huge role in the support we give to our customers who have applications with Primo products. For more information on any of Primo's product range, then get in contact using the link in the video description. If you like the video, then be sure to click the thumbs up, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.